Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be talking about 10 bird products that they sell on the market that are actually harmful to your birds. So believe it or not, if there is a product that says that it is safe for birds, that doesn't always mean that it's actually good and safe for your birds. So today I'm going to be sharing, like I said, 10 of the most common types of products that you'll come across that are actually dangerous for your birds. With number one, we have the small cage. Now the small cage is one that you just absolutely want to avoid and this one is terrible for your bird because not only does it limit them on space, it can make them feel very crowded and cramped and obviously the bird needs to be able to stretch its wings and these cages can sometimes barely fit food bowls and a few perches and maybe like one or two toys which is not what you want for your bird. Your bird needs to have plenty of space especially if you work like a regular nine to five, nine to five job or you go to school, you're going to need a cage that is pretty large for your bird so that they can actually hop and fly around. If the cage isn't large enough to where they can do that, then you need to get a larger cage. A lot of the times, these smaller cages are also built poorly as well, so they will be they won't hold up as well as like a larger flight cage. You can also make your own cage like I did behind me. Just make sure that you use untreated wood and stainless steel mesh wiring uh, just to make sure that it is not galvanized or anything like that because a lot of those treated woods are filled with toxic chemicals and some of the metals are actually coated with zinc to keep the rust away and that is not what you want because that is very bur bad for your birds so if you're going to DIY cage just make sure you do your research and you're using bird safe materials. The second thing that is very bad for your bird is the dowel, uh, dowel rod perches. And these are basically just perches that are very streamlined in shape. Uh, they have no curves, they have no texture whatsoever. It is the same all the way around the perch. And oh goodness, the birds are screaming. Um, and these are just very bad. See, they don't like them, guys. I'm talking about them, and they're already screaming. But the reason these aren't good for your bird's feet is because your birds are sitting in the exact same position all the time and that is really bad for your bird's feet because over time your birds, your birds can develop arthritis and they can get pressure sores on the bottom of their feet. They can also get bumblefoot and this is from sitting in that exact same position. Their feet are in that exact same position all the time because there's absolutely no texture or any variation in that perch. So an easy way to fix this is to get natural wood perches, and these perches have a lot of texture and variation, and they make your bird's feet work out a little bit. It eliminates the chance of your bird even getting a pressure sore in the first place. And unfortunately, these dowel perches come in a lot of cages, so just don't use those and avoid them. Now, if you're running short on time and you don't have time to go get some natural wood perches right off the bat, that is perfectly fine. Just make, just grab some of your dowel perches from your bird's cage, get a knife, and carve a lot of texture into them. Make sure you're cutting large gaps in them and divots so that your bird gets enough texture. Now, this isn't a perfect fit. This is just temporarily, just in case you don't have enough time. Now, the third thing that I'm going to be talking about is cotton rope. And this is basically anything. They'll sell things like boings and ropes. And they'll also make toys with cotton rope perches. And I'm going to be covering those all right now. So cotton rope is very bad for your birds because some birds like to chew. And if your bird ends up chewing on the cotton rope, for example, and this is especially bad because a lot of times they'll make toys that birds love to destroy and if your bird, if they're meant for your bird to be chewing on them and this isn't good because your bird will chew on it and if they accidentally get a cotton fiber in their, if they actually eat a cotton fiber on accident or some of that string gets in their mouth and they accidentally swallow it, that will go into an organ in them called a crop and the crop is a very useful um, component. It kind of acts as storage, 
but basically it will get into that crop and since the cotton rope actually gets tougher when it gets wet it will stay in the crop and it'll get stuck there and then things will build up on top of it and it can cause a crop impaction. Crop impactions are super harmful to your bird because you have to get them surgically removed and since that crop is such an important organ, if you don't, then they can die from it. Not only that, if your bird chews on these cotton ropes, they can create um, frays and uh, they can kind of um, undo that rope a little bit. Even though it's tightly woven, they can kind of pull some of those strings and they, their little toenails or their beaks or their heads can sometimes get caught in these and that is really bad because if you're not there then your bird is just stuck in it and sometimes they will chew off their toes to try and get free and that's very traumatizing and they lose a lot of blood that way and if they get their head stuck in it, it can potentially kill them. So the fourth thing that I'm going to talk about that you should definitely avoid uh, getting your bird is plastic food and water dishes. And unfortunately, again, a lot of cages actually come with these and they offer them a lot at the pet stores. You just want to make sure that you're avoiding these because plastic is a very porous material, which means that if you looked at it with a microscope, it has a lot of pores, which is very bad because it is a breeding ground and can harbor a lot of bacteria. And especially with the water dish, since that bacteria will thrive in the water, when your bird drinks that water, they can develop a bacterial infection and a lot of bad GI um, bugs that have to do with their digestive system. You just really want to avoid those kind of things. The fifth thing that I'm going to be talking about today is sand perches. And sand perches slash sand perch covers slash like grit perches. These are really bad for your bird because they offer a rough texture to your bird to sit on. And I've seen some cases where this is all that you provide and they're meant to file your bird's nails down. But even though that is true, that's what they do. They create micro cuts on the bottom of your bird's feet and it, these micro cuts can turn into bacterial infections and it's just super bad for your bird and you really don't want to have to be paying that kind of money for the vet. Um, to give you that kind of um, medicine to be able to help your bird out. And it's just super easy fix. Um, they do offer these perches that come with the rough texture on the sides, so they're soft padding on their feet. Don't touch it, but their nails do. Personally, I would just avoid them altogether because if you use natural wood perches, and you give the bird enough variation, the nails will file themselves down. You just don't want to offer your bird the micro cuts. The sixth thing that I'm going to be talking about is Happy Hut slash Snuggle Homes. Basically what it is, is it's the little tent or little hut that you can get your bird to hang it in the cage. And most of the time these are made out of cotton rope or fi fibrous material, like soft, kind of fuzzy material. And unfortunately, while birds do look very cute in them, like I said with the cotton ropes, they do, um, if the bird does ingest some of that fiber, then they can get a crop impaction, you guessed it, a crop impaction. And not only that, your bird can get tangled in them, like I said, with the cotton rope, it's kind of the same thing. But there's one thing that these Happy Huts um, offer that is also really bad for your bird, and that is hormonal behaviors. Since these Happy Huts are like small, little tight areas, um, your bird will see that as a nesting spot because in the wild a lot of species of parrots nest in tree cavities and little holes in the trees and that is kind of what you're mimicking there and they will see that they'll get hormonal and a hormonal behavior is really bad in a bird because they will tend to get more aggressive towards you they'll bite you more they won't want to train and it's just really bad so if you have a happy hut take it out and just avoid them all together the seventh thing that I'm going to be talking about is the mirror toy. And now the mirror toy is kind of one, it's, it's like the classic bird toy. If you think of a bird toy, a lot of people would think of a mirror, right? Um, unfortunately, the mirror is a really bad bird toy because it promotes hormonal behaviors. Like I just said, hormonal behaviors are really bad because they lead to aggression towards you. They don't want to train. It's just really bad in the end and your birds can get addicted to these mirrors because they actually think it's a real bird in there they don't realize that it's not a real bird so your birds will end up getting addicted to this mirror 
They'll always want to be around it. They'll want to do nothing else other than be around the mirror. And in some cases, these are the extreme cases, and these can come up really quickly if you don't take the mirror out right away. And this is where the bird will basically get so attracted to the mirror that it'll start regurgitating and trying to mate with the mirror and it'll get frustrated that it can't do that and then it'll get even more you'll, you'll, you'll see more aggression from your bird so just avoid the mirrors the eighth thing that i'm going to be talking about is uh, bathing shampoo slash like bird products that you're supposed to spray on your bird that cleanse your bird's feathers kind of like a deep cleaning they're supposed to deep clean the bird's feathers and they're supposed to also make your bird's feathers more vibrant and bright now the reason these are bad is because they off they offer a lot and lot they offer a lot of like really harmful chemicals to your bird and not all, some of them aren't harmful, it's just the amount of chemicals that they offer and it can be super irritating on the bird's skin and feet and if it, obviously it will get in their eyes because they're bathing in it and that is really really bad for them, it's just super irritating to them and it, it honestly is just a big waste of money because water does the exact same thing and the birds preen their feathers and they clean them and they keep them in great condition that's why birds in the wild, their feathers are so beautiful is because they keep them in good condition just using water so why would you need to use a shampoo it's just kind of a waste of money and not only that the birds can breathe in those chemicals and that is just really bad it can be irritating for their lungs and you can see them sneezing um, sometimes though their nares or sears will become kind of uh, watery and they'll start their nostrils will start watering so you just really want to stay away from those the ninth thing that I'm going to be talking about in this video, we've made it to nine, you have one more guys. If you like this video so far, please consider subscribing, I really appreciate it. And yeah, so we're just going to move on to the ninth thing. So the ninth thing that I'm going to be talking about is grit. Now, grit is supposedly offered to your birds to be able for them to help to aid in digestion. And basically what it is, it's some minerals and stones, and it is to aid them in digestion and kind of help them break down some of their food. Now while that doesn't sound terrible because you've heard, probably heard of birds eating rocks and grit and stuff in the wild, that's because birds like pigeons and doves and that kind of stuff, they don't have, they eat, they eat a lot of their food whole and they need that extra step in digestion. Whereas parrots, they use their beaks to tear up their food and crack the seeds so they're not eating things whole, so they don't need that digestion. So what will happen if you get the grit is it'll just get built up in their crop and you guess that a crop attraction will happen. So that's something that you really just want to avoid with your bird. Alright, and now the tenth thing that I'm going to be talking about is bird litter. And bird litter is just to go at the bottom of the cage. A lot of times it's wood shavings, sometimes it's corn or walnut shells or something like that. Now this is bad for a lot of reasons. Number one, it is really bad because one of the best ways to tell if your bird is sick or injured is by observing observing their poop and their poop can change in variation and you can actually tell a lot of things based on their poop including some very serious diseases, how, when your bird is sick, when you need to take them to the vet that kind of stuff, what they've been eating, that kind of stuff. And if you have bird litter down there, when they poop, it's just going to mix in with that bird litter and you're not going to be able to look at it. The second reason bird litter is very bad is if it's some sort of wood, this can, this scent from the wood can be irritating to your birds. Um, it can also, when they land on it, be irritating on their feet and that kind of stuff. And the third reason that it is not very good is because sometimes the birds will accidentally ingest like these walnut shells or corn um, holes or whatever you're using, pine shavings, something like that. They'll ingest it and it'll get stuck in their crop or it can sometimes, and they cause a crop infection, or it can sometimes, they can actually ingest it and it'll get in their stomach or digestive system and create cuts there and you'll have internal bleeding and possibly death. So those are the 10 things that you definitely want to avoid getting your bird. Like I said, if you were like this video, if you're interested in more pet bird content or just bird content in general, make sure to check out my channel. I'll leave some videos in the description below. I thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.